Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. Tropical update time, little morning quickie for you. Everybody likes a little quickie in the morning on the tropics. So we do have a little bit of something to talk about. It's called Invest 95. Um, <clears throat> typically, July is kind of slow. Doesn't mean we're going to have a slow season because it seems like July has been a little slow. It's very normal, but we do have a little something out there kind of hinting that the tropics are slowly waking up. Um, I do these little quickies a lot here on, on YouTube uh, during the season, and uh, they're qu quick, short, to the point, uh, and you can also watch us live here on YouTube, also on Facebook and Twitter, in the mornings, uh, daily, Monday through Friday at 9.19 Eastern, and I also have got a pretty big following on TikTok now, so if you're on TikTok, look me up, uh, I do these little uh, quickie briefings daily on there. So here's the latest National Hurricane Center graphic, it's uh, <clears throat> showing you that we have an area of interest called Invest 95 and um, they're giving it a 70% chance of development and that could be a development into a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane. And uh, they're pretty confident, at least right now, that it, it could develop. Um, latest spaghetti models, these are on tropicaltidbits.com. We support that site a lot, we love it. Um, this is showing high confidence that, and at least in the next five days, that Invest 95 Maybe Emily, that's the next name on the list, uh, will be going due west. Little time stamps on these graphics here show you a day from now, 24, 48, 72. These are hour markers, so somewhere around Tuesday it looks like it might be nearing the Lesser Antilles, Barbados area. Uh, and then by uh, five days from now, possibly uh, south of um, Hispaniola, getting close to Jamaica. All right, here's current satellite. Now, very small little system. This is a little guy right here. Um, tiny. It would it would barely co cover South Florida as a thunderstorm. But this is it. It's got spinach. It's got rotation. Um, and we'll, we'll see what it does. There's there, there's another wave behind it. We're not really going to get into, but there are a few models even showing this next wave off Africa might be something to watch. Uh, here's the current weathernerds.org satellite. This is a water vapor loop, and it shows a lot of dry air. So. Not the best surroundings for Invest 95. There's dry air all the way around it. Now there are st storms spin clock or counterclockwise, so it starts to ingest some of this dry air. So there's dry air out in front, there's dry air above, and dry air on the backside. So it's not the most favorable conditions at all for this thing to develop right now. Another map we look at is this overall picture of the Atlantic. Um, this is your dry air map. A lot of this is showing dust from Africa. You can see this big plume that made it all the way to the United States this weekend. Especially South Florida. If you if you're wondering why the southeast is kind of hazy, we actually have some of this dust from Africa that made it over this weekend. Um, but you know this dust rides along with our Invest 95, and here it is. There's just a lot of a lot of dusty, dry air. So not not the most favorable conditions, at least in the next few days, for this thing to, to do anything. Um, and again, this this dust is very common in July. And here's a look at our other way kind of pop up into the picture we, we might be watching. But the NHC doesn't have it marked. All right, some of your individual model runs. We also go to Tropical Tibbets here for this when we do our, our, our daily show. But what we're looking at here is, you know, low pressure areas are in blue. Um, but a common, common theme here with all, all the models. GFS not showing hardly any development. Um, even the latest Euro. I'm going to show you some ensembles here in a second. Uh, the Euro is not showing much development development at all basically <clears throat> just a weak low pressure area entering you know near the islands monday tuesday doesn't do much with it at all as it goes west um, we look at the canadian model been a little aggressive this year on development of things but it's even showing you know very 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 weak signature here next monday tuesday um you know low pressure through the caribbean so and even the Icon, which is a pretty darn good model in my opinion, uh, has backed off considerably on any development. So, you know, it could be a trend. You know, you watch these little guys in real time. They can spin up fast they, and, they, and they can die just as fast. Uh, and also, I put, pointed out yesterday, there's a new hurricane model called the HAFS, uh, and it's also on Tropical Tidbits. It's a new one that they're going to be uh, replacing this year. Um, it, it, it did very well last year. Now, yesterday it was showing a 980 system past the islands. Nothing today. So <clears throat> overnight confidence is not really high. Invest 95 is going to do much. Even this graphic here is the um, Euro ensemble map. Now there's 51 members of the Euro. 
<clears throat> we were seeing at least I don't know twenty percent of them showing development. Now we're not even starting seeing it, like anything. So I don't know what's happened. The Euro pretty much just gave overnight last night zero chance. So the theme here is don't get too worked up about Invest ninety five at least right now. The model trends are your friends usually, and there's a lot of model trends showing this thing is going to be dealing with dusty, dry air and wind shear. Um, wind shear ahead in this Caribbean, uh, typically common during El Nino years, is looking kind of strong in this Caribbean area. So we'll see. Even the GFS ensembles aren't showing much of this thing. Uh, well, there's 31 members of that. And you can start, we're not going to talk about this next wave, but you can start to see the wave coming off of Africa starting to show up. But that's a long way away. So, and, and what's driving this thing west? Well, when we get a high pressure above, we've had this Gulf high pressure system now locked in here for weeks, right? That's why it's been hot, hazy, not a lot of rain. Well, if you look into next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, pretty much, uh, they're still showing a strong Bermuda high, which extends over to the Gulf of Mexico. Any high pressure that strong, typically storms keep on trucking westbound and down. So, a little bit on the steering. Here's where we're at, the peak of season. Uh, July, typically very, very slow. Almost the same activity in middle November. So, very common. Um, usually your graph here, which shows your July months, uh, not showing any sort of development in the Caribbean, mainly because of wind shear and dust. So, this is the areas we typically look at in July. Um, so it's kind of kind of uncommon to see a July wave make it across. So, a little tidbit for the day. Remember Mike's weather page here, SpaghettiModels.com. Check it out for all the latest and greatest. I keep it updated with all the graphics. Also have an app. We look forward in the Apple Store, Android Store. Mike's weather page on that, and it has updates. I do I do notifications on there. You can watch Daily Brew. Have a lot of kind of a couple exclusive things on the app. Some people like so. There you go. A little tidbit for the day. Enjoy your weekend. Cheers. If you live in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you hit. Uh, Tampa Bay Brewing Company for good time. And, of course, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits here in the whole great state of Florida for your weekend party plans. All right. I have coffee to drink. Cheers.